spicy. Today, if you believe with me, every time you eat, it is your sacrifice. Do not eat anything without watching this message. Everything that you put in your mouth to ingest and eat, it is a sacrifice. You ought to remember the name of God. You ought to remember the name of God because he's Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Rapha. He's El Elyon. He's Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He says, as they were eating, he took the bread, blessed it. He took his own body, blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, take it. This is my body. Take it. This is my body. Take it. This is my body. Take it. See, they were eating bread. Like you can eat whatever you eat. You can be eating your pizza. You can even eat your ugali or your shima. You can eat your chicken alfredo. Your your chicken, your, your fried rice. Your, uh, your chicken teriyaki. Whatever. Your, your tandoori chicken. Whatever you eating. Bless it. And break it. Like Jesus did. Because it is the body of Jesus. Take it. This is my body. Not like all these false uh, people that are telling you about sacrifices. Every time you eat, it is a sacrifice. He says, then he took a cup. And after giving thanks, so you give thanks, you give grace. That is why when you eat, we say we give grace. He gave it to them and they all drank from it. He said to them, this is my blood of the new covenant which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Jesus sacrificed his own body. Jesus sacrificed his own body. He's Jehovah Nisi. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's the Elyon. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Then you're delivered. If you sacrifice and eat the body of Jesus, then you are healed. If you sacrifice and eat the body of Jesus, then you're delivered. If you sacrifice and eat the body of Jesus, then you are healed. If you sacrifice and eat the body of Jesus, then you're delivered. If you sacrifice, then you are healed. That is why. Never eat anything without saying prayer. Every time he's made it easy. That is why he said, do this in remembrance of me. Because he knows that when you eat, when you drink, you want to do that three times a day. You eat your breakfast in the name of the Father. You eat your lunch in the name of the Son. And you eat your dinner in the name of the Holy Spirit. And you sacrifice three times a day. And you sacrifice three times a day. And it is free. You have to eat anyways. What is your problem? What is your bother? What is your confusion? You have to eat anyways. You have to eat anyways. Me and you, uh, we like to eat. We like to eat. So while we are eating, he made it easy. He says, when you eat, when you drink, do this remembrance of me. When you eat, when you drink, do this in remembrance of me. Because when you eat and you drink, your eyes will be opened to scripture. When you eat and drink, your eyes will be opened to scripture. You will be open to God. You will carry Jesus inside you. Every time when you eat a nice meal, remember, you are carrying Jesus inside you. So that is why in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 20, it says, The Lord Jesus Christ on the night he was betrayed took the bread. The Lord Jesus Christ won on what? On the night he was betrayed, he took the bread. The night Judas Iscariot betrayed him, he took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When you eat, do that in remembrance of Jesus. When you drink, do that in remembrance of Jesus. When you pray, don't pray like say, God, we want you to replenish. We want you to give us more. 
we want you to bless the hands that have uh, prepared that's good that's good but 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 you need to remember that you're eating the body of jesus that is the main thing why you should say grace and that is why you're supposed to say this is the body of jesus this is the body of jesus this is the blood of jesus this is the blood of jesus when you eat when you drink do not eat again without remembering jesus in the same way after supper he took the cup say this is the cup in the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me do this whenever you eat in remembrance of me do this whenever you drink in remembrance of me for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death until he comes he is the perfect sacrifice it is very easy to sacrifice every day because you eat when you eat breakfast when you eat lunch when you eat dinner you do it in remembrance of the alpha and the omega it says on first corinthians 11 27 so it says so then whoever eats now there's consequences see god doesn't just come here and say things that do this in remembrance of me and then oh i can just forget about it because i am cool i am this i'm no when the lord says something it's got consequences if you don't do it besides that's why he makes it easy he makes it easy you just do this in remembrance of me you want to eat anyway so do this in remembrance of me you want to drink anyways do this in remembrance of me and then you still want to be stubborn he says so anyone who eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. So when you eat and you don't remember Jesus, you are guilty of sinning. Now you may say, but ah, it's my food. I, I work for it, brother Daka. I work for it. Well, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm just reading what he says here. He says, everyone should examine themselves before they eat the bread and drink the cup you should examine yourself before you eat before you drink no i don't mean you go and start looking at what you did last night or what you did what whatever all these life games no i don't mean I, the lord is not judgmental he's not looking in your history that oh because like in certain churches they say or oh, the people the people some people maybe uh uh, uh they had uh, relationships in the church they get this fellowship and then they cannot eat the body of christ that is incorrect you need to examine yourself to say do i am i eating the body of jesus am i drinking the blood of jesus they don't wait until sunday on church you need to do this every day he says whenever you eat or whenever you drink now next time you eat do not eat minus following these he says if you don't do this there's consequences so you don't have to believe what i'm saying i'm just reading in the book of first corinthians 11 and 30. he says for this reason many are weak and sick amongst you many of many of you are weak he says that careless and unworthy participation is the reason why many amongst you are weak and sick and a number of them are in death when you do not recognize the body of jesus many of them are weak many of them are sick many of them are weak many of them are sick all you have to do if you are sick if you're not feeling well go to the doctor but even the food that you eat is medicine just say it is the body of jesus just say it is the body of jesus and then when you eat that it shall open your mind by the names of jesus you shall sacrifice every day by the names of jesus by the blood of jesus that is why my father god jehovah nisi jehovah Rapha, you're a god who never slumbers 
You are the God, my Father God, the God of Elijah. Elijah, my Father God, who made a mockery of those uh, false uh, prophets, my Father God, who made a mockery of uh, 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 the Baal and uh, Jezebel, who made a mockery of them, my Father God. He was by himself, but he came in the name of the Lord. He came in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that is why he had to pour the water three times in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he came representing the 12 tribes of Israel in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he called our God who answers by fire. Our God who answers by fire. Our God who answers by fire. And he's the one that has given us, my Father God, you've given us your body that whatever we eat, we remember your death. That is what we need to do. Anyone who doesn't remember that that is your body, that they're forgetting your death and they're putting judgment upon themselves. And you've given us the new covenant, the covenant of blood, the covenant of healing, the covenant of deliverance, my Father God. That my Father God, by your blood, we overcome the devil. By your blood, we overcome the devil, my Father God. And you said, my Father God, that those that eat of your bad day and remember you, you shall heal them. Oh, Father, who lives in the heaven, honored is your name, the name of Jesus, the name of the Elohim, the name of the Alpha and the Omega, the name of the beginning and the end. Father God, whatever the person that is listening to this message, whatever the person that is listening to this video, whatever the message, the message, wherever this is going to be played, my Father God, touch their minds, my Father God, so they always remember you. And devil cannot come there because my father God, when they remember you, when they remember you, send the fire from heaven to consume the troubles. Send the fire from heaven to consume the sickness. Send the fire from heaven to consume anything that is bothering them. It is the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.